Hey guys, I hope you are doing well. Somebody asked me a question and that question was, if you were to download, say, a set of different design elements, but they're all in one image, okay, stuff like this, how can you separate them? So I was showing people, you know, how to create digital abstract art and, you know, in some of these design elements, as you can see, they come, it's like one image, but it's a set of different design elements in one picture. How can you separate these things? Great question. This is what I'm going to answer and I'm going to show you guys how to do it for free. Okay. If you want to know where to get stuff like this, I got this from Pixabay and I've, you know, I've, there's a whole bunch of different places you can get free digital art design tools. And I have a whole video showing you guys where to do that all for free. And I've even got videos telling you guys, you know, some of the commercial terms and use, <laughs> use and terms and conditions of all of those things. I'll make sure you have access to all of it. Okay. So in this case, what we would do, Pixabay again, totally free. You can see there's a transparent background, which I happen to like. It's to my, in my opinion, it's a little bit more versatile this way. And you're just going to go ahead. You're going to download this. I went ahead. I got the smaller one. You can get whatever size you feel you need. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to this website called Pick, um, excuse me, Lunapic. All right. And we're going to go ahead and crop it. So in this case, what you would do after you've downloaded the set, you would upload your file into Lunapic. Okay, and as you can see, it brings it right in. And on this page, you don't have to search anywhere. You can go right to Crop. Okay, now I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be a little bit tricky right now. I do wish that there was like a rotate tool. Now, depending on the program you're using, sometimes you might see a little something here that will allow you to kind of rotate it. That would be wonderful in this, um, in this case, because I would actually want to crop it this way. Okay. However, what we're going to do here is we're going to do the best we can. Okay. And again, this is using a free website free design tools. Okay. So what we would do is we would just want to make sure that we can get the very bottom of this without getting the top of this. Okay. It just requires a little bit of finagling. Okay. But we can get it done. Okay. There we go. We're going to crop the image. And as you can see, I did get the bottom. I didn't get the top of the other one. All right. You can save it here. It's just going to save it as the format that you brought it into the program. Or you can go this way, go to save image, and it's going to give you a bunch of different options as far as how you want to save it. Okay. And it's going to, by default, like if you saved it as a PNG, which I'm going to do, it will save it as an image edit edit. You can go in there. I would recommend go in there and just rename it. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to show you what you can do with it. So basically, I've just shown you how you can crop the image. Okay. And again, this is using Lunapic. You can, if you know, here I'm using Windows 10 real quick. Let's do this. Actually, I'm going to go in here. What you want to do is you would want to find your image. So I just went into the downloads and I went ahead and clicked on the picture of all three of these. All right. In this case, I'm going to go to edit and create. Okay. This sometimes gets a little tricky with me. However, if I were to hover here and kind of bring that up, all right, and do that same thing that I just did in Lunapic. Okay. Make sure I don't get the top but that I do get the bottom. I can go ahead and save a copy. You don't want to save it without saving a copy because then it'll ruin the original one and you've got two other little paint strokes that you're going to want to keep. All right, so you would save a copy and that is another way to go ahead. You can save this on your computer. Again, this is Windows 10 Photo Editor and it is totally free to use and it's built in. However, if you're using a Mac, I'm sure they have a very similar program that you can use and just do the same thing. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to cancel that out real quick. Yes, okay. So in this case, all right, 
I wanted to just kind of show you real quick. I went to Canva and I created a new design with an Instagram post, okay? And I took the liberty of uploading these images. I, I went ahead and cropped that one too and just kind of brought them in. And as you can see, I've done all kinds of really cool stuff with it, okay? So I brought this in. All of these, actually, real quick, all of these are this, right? So I brought this in and I went to effects. Actually, I went to the filter. I went to grayscale. I came here. I made it a little bit more transparent. I, you know, and as I was talking about having this little thing that kind of allows you to rotate stuff, that's really cool. Okay. I rotated it and I just kind of put it in the back. I brought it in over here and I gave it like a really funky little retro effect. And uh, so I kind of liked the way that looked. All right. I did this one. I did something different with. <laughs> I don't remember what. Okay. Same thing with this one. And then I brought, and then I brought uh, this one in and just kind of threw it in the middle there. And what did I do with that one? I think I, no, effects. I did something funny with it. I think I, yeah, I YouTubed it or something like that. Here's, I mean, there's all kinds, this is using the free version of Canva. I mean, there's all kinds of really cool stuff that you can do. You can warp it, you know. So um, you can shake it and liquefy it, and then you can, there's all kinds of stuff you can do, okay? You can bring another one in. So this, I mean, I've already answered your question. This is just me playing around. <laughs> so you can, you don't have to watch the rest of this video. But anyway, you guys get the idea, okay? So this is, this is like what you do with this stuff. And this is why you'd want to grab free elements like this and why you would want to, you know, bring them in and, and have some fun with it. You know what I mean? So anyway, I hope that answers your question. I hope it answers her question. I'm going to make sure she knows that I created this video in her honor. And if you guys have questions, you know, ask them because I very well might answer and create a whole video showing you what to do with them, okay? So it didn't have to take me seven and a half minutes to show you that, actually it didn't, I showed you in the beginning, but as you can see here, this is all kinds of stuff you can do using free tools as a total beginner with absolutely no skills, and if you want more information on stuff like that, you can look in the description bar. I do show people how to use free tools as total beginners to create digital art, okay? And what you can do with it. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you like stuff like this, feel free to check out the channel and um, maybe even subscribe and like the video. That helps me to know whether or not these are helpful to you. I hope you guys are having a decent, safe year, and um, I wish you a very happy and healthy Thanksgiving next week if I don't create another video until then. And until next time, take care.